All right. So here comes hockey. It's hockey time. We have a mega box, 11 packs of 2020 Series 1 hockey. We're looking for Alexi Lafreniere for the Rangers. Now, have you watched any openings of this on YouTube? I have not. I've just seen a lot of Alexis posted on Twitter. Okay. Now, you actually you did rip a pack of this yourself, right? I ripped 10 jumbo packs. Oh, you ripped them all. Now, I assume in those you got at least some young guns. I got yes. one young gun. Did you happen to look at the the edges or the corners and notice I anything did wrong with them? I did because you mentioned the rounding. Yes. It, it looked okay. Was it evident, though? Like, I haven't seen these cards in person yet. Is it true uh, what they're no, saying? No, I had to look pretty close. Okay. They're, they're, they're not bad. So everything I'm seeing is, for those of you that don't know, is that these cards have this rounding on the corners for the young guns and i don't know if it's just like a certain run of cases or if it's maybe it's just hobby mm -hmm. maybe it's just retail it's i don't just know been hobby stuff that you've seen everything i've seen is from hobby and every person that's ripped it has said that that that's just the condition that they're in so mm -hmm. i don't know if that's a printing error or what i'm glad to hear though that yours were in yeah good shape. mine looked fine so we're gonna get i think two to three in a mega box it's like one in four packs so we have two to three chance what's chance the cost of a mega box these went like for no it wasn't that much it was it it was about it was 3750 plus tax okay so not bad that's pretty fair yeah so we have this exclusive slash exclusive in french <laughs> three cards per pack here um 94 95 rookie die cut tribute cards so this is a little bonus pack Let's see what we got in here griff you want to make an appearance Yes, the podcast dog. Griffey making his podcast appearance. Say hi to the people. We got Kiefer Bellas, Tyler Benson, and Nick Bodine. Okay, so those are our talk about rounded corners. I mean, come on now. <laughs> so hopefully the young that. guns hopefully the young guns don't look like that. But we'll see. All right. Are you going to rip all these at once or go one at a time? Yeah, I'll go uh, one Break at, style. All at once, yeah. Any other Young Guns names besides Alexi? Um, no. Not really? No. There's, no I, I couldn't tell you. There's one guy. I'm sure there are, but I just haven't looked into it too much. It's, or is it Ryan something where he's selling for about $10? A card. That's the second most um, expensive young gun out of the gate. Mm -hmm. Alexi going for 200 plus. So to sell for that much right away, this must be a big, a big name. Huge name. What? What's? Do you know any background on him? Is he? What, did he play in college? Juniors? Uh, AHL last JC year? JC would know better than me. Uh, I yeah. think he was a juniors guy. He's definitely not from college. Okay, JC in the chat. What do you know about Alexi Lafreniere? What can you tell us? We're not the hockey people. I think he was a defenseman, too. And he's converted or what? No uh, longer? I don't know. I should probably know more about this guy. But Yeah, if he's going to be the guy. He's a ranger. I don't... Well, you can't uh, be... You can't look at rangers. I mean, that's like sacrilege for you. <laughs> can't research rangers. All right. So I was talking a minute ago about retail product, and I did mention Prism Football. Have you seen this early release? Uh, yeah. By, how are they getting this? Is Target just early stocking? I, I have a feeling that certain retail stores have just had this shipped early, and Prism Football has been hitting the shelves a full week early. Uh, in I've seen it in Arkansas. I've seen it in Georgia, based on people on Facebook saying where they're at. Um, and immediately people are taking the product for $20 a blaster at Walmart and Target and turning it into $130 a box, Jeez, which is just, just so they can have it sooner. I, Why are people paying that much? I, I have no idea if they were to wait one week. I saw Herbert base cards are going for like 300 bucks out of prison or more. Yeah. Oh my God. That's for a base raw, a base raw. That's just that's absurd. too much. Here's a Max Pacioretty. That's the blue little shimmer action there. I don't know what those parallels are called, but 
but that's that's insane. I mean, is he the most expensive? Is it like, yeah, him? I would think him and Bur. I mean, Burrow. I know he's hurt. I still think he's going to command a uh, uh, quite a, a price point. Here's a Jack Hughes canvas. Nice second second year, third year Jack Hughes. Second second In the year old throwback uni. I like it. JC saying Lafreniere was a two time CHL MVP. Oh wow, big QMJHL guy for Rimouski, the Quebec Junior League. Okay. Oh, I knew that. I knew him and Crosby were on the same team as as youngins. I did know that. Very good. This is Shane Bowers' young guns. We'll sleep up the young guns. Why not? Why Give not? them the respect they deserve. While we have JC explain to us every uh, prospect <laughs> in the league. <laughs> He's given us the full bio. Um, I myself would never... Oh, wait. Hold on. We got a William Nylander. UD game jersey. I myself would never buy a uh, retail product for, uh, you know, ADEX, uh, especially before it's even released. Right. Um, but it's a flipper's paradise out there. People have the stock people's phone numbers. They got like, it's like drug dealing out there. It really it's is. It's the Wild West. And I get buying a few for yourself, but right. do people really have to wipe the shelves completely Yeah, you have to clean? clear out everything. It's ridiculous. This is a dry sidle portraits. So I just think that that's, uh, I mean, we talk about this every episode, but it obviously, oh, Francouz, Pavel Francouz. He's good. Guns, very nice. We talk about it every episode, but Two abs, it huh? continues to be an the issue. The one I got was an av too. Really? Yeah. It's an av heavy product, clearly. Let's see if we can get any more. Looking for a Young Guns canvas or a French canvas. There's a canvas, Rasmus Ristolainen. It's your boy. Not 6'3", nor a full-blown sleeve. <laughs> he is not Matsundin, that's true. No, no French cards. All right, we got two two young guns. Okay, and a game jersey. Not bad from Upper Deck. I think the cards look nice this year. They do. I like They're pretty high-quality cards. Yeah, they are, and I think the young guns as well. I like the logo. I like the, the rarity there. of the young guns. I think it's perfect. One in four packs. Yep. You're not going to get... Because like in baseball, you get rookies in every pack, mm -hmm. basically, for the most part. Um, I think this is good. Because it's, like, it's almost like an insert set right. base card at the same time. Right. And it's, it's, it's different. Um, it, no other rookie cards in the major sports are like that. They're, mm -hmm. all, they're all just base rookies. You can get a hobby box of tops and get every rookie. That's true. Like it, we just did our tops update case break, and mm -hmm. we each box I'm sure contained every rookie on the checklist. Maybe yep. maybe we're one or two short, but you open two boxes, you're almost guaranteed the full set. Yep. And I think you open. Uh, I think it's six young guns per hobby box. Okay, that's so that's pretty. They're they're pretty rare. Pretty good rate if that's the case. I like that. I do like that a lot, and I think that um, probably the slowest growing sport in the hobby mm -hmm. in terms of. Uh, certainly in terms of investors. I don't think the investors have caught on, but the collectors, if you dive deep enough on the internet, There's you find some, some guys who have been into the hockey game for a long time. It's really cool to see what they have to say. Mm -hmm. 